Hi, this is a short introduction video to show features of my new tool called Windows Phone Internals. I created this tool to let you tweak and customize your Windows Phone. You can enable root access, create homebrew software and you can also create and flash custom ROMs and make full backups of your Windows Phone. Currently the tool supports selected Lumium models. Hopefully I can support more Windows Phone models and brands in the future. The tool has a getting started section which tells you what models are supported and on which Windows Phone operating system versions root access is possible. All the basics you need to know about this tool are in this section. Please take your time to read this section to understand all the risks before you start using the tool. Because there is a real possibility that your phone gets permanently damaged. So only use this tool on phones for which it is acceptable to risk this damage. The info section always shows you the operating mode of the phone that is currently connected. At this moment I have my Lumia 920 connected and some of the operating modes show more info than others. So when you put the phone in flash mode it will show you the most detailed info about the phone. You can manually switch to another operating mode using the manual mode section. I will now switch the phone to flash mode. Now the phone is in flash mode. Here you can see the security info which is reported by the phone. The phone which I have connected is a retail phone, but it shows that the Q fuse is not blown. Normally only engineering type phones have the Q fuse not blown. My phone reports this because I unlocked its bootloader. The bootloader now supports features which are normally not supported by retail phones like flashing custom ROMs or switch it to mass storage mode. You can also see that secure boot is disabled. This allows you to modify system binaries. In this section you can unlock your bootloader. There are two different approaches for unlocking your bootloader. If you can find an engineering bootloader which is compatible with the CPU of your phone, you can use that to help unlock more features. If you can't find such bootloader, you can still unlock your bootloader and flash custom ROMs, but you won't be able to enable root access directly on the phone. You will then only be able to create a custom ROM with root access enabled and then flash that ROM to your phone. I will make a separate video to show you these unlocking techniques. In this section you can enable root access on supported phones and you can enable root access on a custom ROM image. This root access is actually a set of hacks which disables secure boot, it disables all checks on access control lists, capabilities and privileges. It allows apps to escape from app container security and it allows you to run .NET console applications and it is a jailbreak. So it allows you to run full privileged homebrew apps. You have to understand that the phone is also more vulnerable to malware. Maybe you want to enable root access, then apply some tweaks, and then disable root access afterwards.
and you unlock the phone using an engineering bootloader, you can create a full backup of your phone. You can make a zip file, which contains all major partitions, or you can backup separate partitions of the phone. When you backup to a zip file, you can use the flash function of this tool to flash it straight back to the phone. The flash function allows you to flash a custom ROM image, a stock ROM image or separate partitions. A custom ROM image is actually a zip file which contains the raw partition images of three partitions, EFI ESP partition, the main OS partition and the data partition. The custom ROM image must be designed for your specific phone model. Different OS versions may have slightly different partition layouts, but this doesn't actually matter because Windows Phone Internals tool will automatically write a modified partition table for you. The dump section allows you to extract partitions from a stock ROM image. You should first enable root access in the dumped image. You can then further customize the ROM and finally zip the partitions and you have your own custom ROM. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information go to my website wpinternals.net.